John, not for a large part of this game, not a lot in it. And obviously the two goals at the end to Orient flattered, maybe again a flattering scoreline today. Yeah, I think it's a good word, it, it flattered them somewhat. But, um, you know, 2-1, I thought we were still in the game. And um, certainly, you know, they, they've actually had two efforts in the first half score from them both. Uh, some poor defending from us. Uh, in the first half. I think they had two corners in the first half as well. They didn't really put us under a great deal of pressure, but they end up going in at half-time 2-1 uh, up. Um, <coughs> but, um, you know, as it's, uh, in the last 15, 20 minutes, we obviously had forced to make one or two changes and it just kind of showed you that, uh, you know, we're somewhat a depleted squad. I shouldn't really have, have uh, asked Guion to play and Ryan to play so soon after their operations, but they both were desperate to play. It was a question of me stopping them from playing more than anything. But under normal circumstances, you know, you wouldn't consider them really for another week. Um, but, you know, we're pretty uh, pretty thin on the ground with numbers and, um, you know, they both t turned out today and both gave everything they got, but you could see there was a, a real lack of uh, match fitness. Um, you know, when we had to make a couple of subs, Dino was thrown up before the game in the dressing room. Um, so he wasn't in the best of health uh, and has not been for the last couple of weeks. But um, he seemed to battle through games and get out there. And he's, he's gone out there again today and given everything he's got. But um, he's obviously uh, been very sick uh, before the game. But, um, you know, as I said, the, the game was still there for us to got back into 2-1. I really felt it's, um, we were pretty comfortable, you know. Um, but then obviously the third goal has, has killed us. Gave the ball away in the centre midfield when we're in possession. Ends up in the back of our net. Just little things like that are just, they're mega important. Doesn't happen very often in the Premier League, but um, we've made uh, we've made too many errors today. Yeah, like I said, the third goal is always mm. going to be important. Second yes. half though, did we do enough? Did we work their keeper enough for you, do you think? Possibly not, but um, you know, uh, We've been without our top goal scorer for three games and we lost all three games. And, um, you know, that, that's, that's irritated me somewhat. Matty Harold's gone out there today and um, given everything he's got, but obviously he's, he's been a little bit short of match uh, fitness. We don't have a sort of a reserve league that we play in uh, to keep people ticking over. So he's had to go out there today and, um, you know, you, you could obviously see the lack of match fitness in the second half found it very difficult to keep going but he kept he kept going as best he could um, but uh, as I said in the, in the end uh, I think the scoreline flattered the opposition but uh, we need to pick ourselves up if we don't realise uh, that we're in a relegation battle by now today will certainly make everybody in our football club realise uh, the enormity of, of uh, where we are in the league and um, and what we're going to do about it to get out of it. Quick turnaround, obviously, less than 48 hours now yep. before we play again at home to Colchester. It's a really big game now, isn't it? No hiding place, Bruce. There never is in football. Uh, you can't hide. If you ever try and hide, you get found out. And um, players have got to roll their sleeves up and get ready to go again uh, in two days' time against Colchester. I've not seen any of the other scores today, so um, I don't know how Colchester themselves got on, but um, they come to us in two days' time, and it's a, a must win for us without any question and it will be a case I guess of counting the walking wounded hopefully yeah. Dean will be available we'll have eyes all back but injuries are really biting now aren't well they? yeah but then it's you know people that get the chance people that have sat there people that have come banging on my door and saying why not I in the team uh, and they get the chance to go into the team and then you've got to justify your selection so you know um, I hope that everyone's got the right attitude that there's people not shying away from playing on the uh, on Sunday uh, and get ready for what's going to be a really tough home game.